the Ryan's CES Hurdle is next. It's a great three, a two mile out of some unbeaten horses in this. It's a pretty good looking field. First battle for David Hooley's unbeaten in one. Volcanic Impact, Leon Van Rensburg. If we for Jim Harris, he's unbeaten in two, going for a hat trick, as is the trainer today. Thunderstruck Paul Rhodes, that's been a winner. Already this season, Clemmy Churchill for Paul Rhodes again. First up, David Hooley, that was a winner last time out, and tilts at windmills for Joshua Sutherland at the bottom. Then away and racing, and on one of those rare occasions, Joshua Sutherland is tilted at a windmill because he's far from got the favourite in this, and he's got the lead though as they head to the first of the eight. And they all get over it okay. With tilts at windmills on the inside of first up, and then first battle. David Hooley's got a lot of firsts this season, which is probably a really risky thing to call all your horses when you do something like this, because they'll probably all come second. But he's also got a lot of worlds. Has he got one called First World? Has he got one called World First? I can't remember off the top of my head, but he'll probably call it later if he has. Unless he's called ball ready. Anyway. Tilts at Wimbledon is in the lead over the second from Ifrit. Going for the three time on the inside of first up. And Thunderstruck. In the probably the newest set of Paul Rhodes' colours. He's got quite a few sets of colours these days. And uh going over that one nicely. I think it would probably have been even more confusing years ago. When he was top of the tree in both codes. He'd have had so many different silks, but bizarre the first year that I was a commentator. He had exactly the same silks as Joshua Sutherland, the one that's in the lead. And Josh was just about breaking through then to the top ranks, and it was very confusing sometimes. They get over the, the next. Back in that first season, of course, we only had one horse in a race. That rule changed, I think, the season after. And then you had a situation where you have four running in those Dennis the Menace colours, and four all had a chance of winning. It was a nightmare for us commentators at the time. And, Paul took the choice to change his silks. Has he ever really settled on one that he liked? Because he keeps the, changing them quite a lot. Anyway, we get to the fifth. And tilts at windmills is in the lead. Ifrit is in second. And Volcanic Impact and Thunderstruck. First up next. And a bit of a gap to first battle. And another gap to Clemmy Churchill, who's just the back marker. Down of a third last they go. And Tilts at Windmills is still the leader. On first up second. And Volcanic Impact. If Rip first battle, he would have not changed it a lot. Thunderstruck and Kimmy, Clemmy Churchill, the two Paul Rhodes pair, are at the back as they head towards the second last flight. Tilts at Windmills. Two lengths clear of first up in second. Volcanic Impact in third. If Rip is on fourth, just had to be snatched up there. If Rip got nowhere to go, Jockey's got himself into a bit of a pocket as they get over the second last. And Tilts at Windmills is clearing the lead from first up in second. Volcanic Impact is third. First battle's now getting into it. If Rip's finally got some racing room. Thunderstruck's trying to run on. Clemmy Churchill's dropped away. They're heading down towards the final flight. Two furlongs to go. And Tilts at Windmills is still two lengths clear, but they're queuing up behind. The big guns are coming. Tilts and windmills in the lead. Ifrit is now coming through in a second. Volcanic impact. First up, first battle. They come down towards this final flight. There's less than a furlong to go. It's a very short running. They get over this final flight. Over it they go. And the best jump was by Volcanic Impact. And Volcanic Impact has burst into the lead. Tilts and windmills is trying to fight back. But Volcanic Impact. Tilts and windmills. Oh, it's close. It's a photo. As Tilts and windmills came back at Volcanic Impact. And the big two going head to head and on the bob nip and tuck which one's taking it tilts at windmills has got back up it could well be a dead heat this it's not it's tilts at windmills has got back up to take it and joshua Sutherland will be pretty pleased with that because not only does he give him a win but he takes a win away from his biggest rival and i think He's probably stretching into a quite a big lead now. So tilts and windmills at the top for Joshua Sutherland is the winner. Volcanic impact for Leon Van Randenburg second. Ifrit for Jim Harrison third. First up David Hooley fourth. And David Hooley was fifth again with first battle.